Thanks so much, Jared. I'm so thrilled to join you tonight representing the Allison Family Foundation. Our foundation's partnership with the Gift of Life is very special. Tens of thousands of donors have swabbed their cheeks and joined the registry as a result of our efforts to bring Gift of Life's mission to Birthright Israel participants. For over 10 years now, it's been a joy to watch as more and more lives are saved. One very special transplant recipient is Veronica, who's joining us tonight from Tracy, California. A wife and mother of two children, Veronica works as a legal assistant. She's been counting down to this moment for a long time, and we're so excited to introduce her to her donor. Please welcome Veronica. Hello. Hi, Veronica. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Tell us how you're feeling. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I have a bunch of mixed feelings, but I'm very, very happy. Well, and that's understood, and that's terrific. Now, before we go any further, I want to let everyone know that today is special in more ways than one. Today is Veronica's birthday. So happy birthday. I'll spare singing you anything. Thank uh, you. And uh, I think that the meeting your donor is a pretty amazing way to celebrate your birthday. Yeah. So uh, Veronica's story began in November of 2018 when she was diagnosed with severe aplastic anemia. Uh, she felt short of breath, uh, exhausted, foggy headed and weak and the diagnosis was a real shock. Veronica needed a bone marrow transplant to survive. Uh, her brother was devastated to learn that he was not a close enough match to donate himself. When her donor was found in the Gift of Life registry a few months later, Veronica was relieved that her nightmare of frequent, frequent uh, blood transfusions was about to end. Her transplant took place at Stanford Hospital. She spent 35 days there undergoing chemotherapy and radiation in preparation for the transplant followed by three months in an apartment nearby for follow-up visits during her recovery. Veronica is grateful to her family who all pitched in to help nurse her back to health and care for her young children during this time. Today, she feels wonderful as she continues increasing her endurance and getting stronger every day. Uh, Veronica, tell us a little bit about how you feel about your donor. I am just very excited to meet her and to just tell her how thankful I am, how she changed my life. Um, and just to, just to see what a wonderful person she is for, every, for her donation. And literally, she gave me my life back and I'm just so excited to put a, put a face to that person who gave me my life back. So I'm so anxious to meet her. Well, we all share your excitement. You've waited a long time for this moment. So uh, before we bring on your donor, let me tell you a little bit about her. Your donor is 27 years old and lives in New York City. Uh, you won't believe this, but her birthday was just four days ago on February 16th. So you guys are practically twins. Uh, your donor swabbed her cheek uh, to join Gift of Life's registry in Jerusalem while on a birthright Israel trip in 2016. And then when she got the call that uh, she was a match for you, she was surprised, a little nervous, and immediately curious about you. Most of all, she was excited to have the opportunity to help you. Your donor was not at all scared to go ahead with the collection. She, she said she just had to this feeling that this is what she was supposed to do. And she describes herself as pretty fearless. And she noted that if someone she loved were in need, she, she would hope that a stranger would do the same. Your donor doesn't consider herself a hero, but I think we can all agree that she absolutely is. So Veronica, it gives me great pleasure to introduce your donor, your almost twin, and your real life hero, Jennifer. Hi. It is so nice to finally meet you. Yes. <laughs> Aquarius babies, yes, I knew it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice I'm good, I am very, very good. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's. I, I am just so thrilled to hear that um, everything seems like it, it worked out and, and, and the bone marrow did its job and thrilled to hear that you're doing so much better. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just deeply thankful for your, you know, bone marrow donation. If not for your generosity, I would not have been alive today. I'm deeply touched and humbled by the act of compassion and kindness that you demonstrated. You are a true hero. You gave me my my life back. You gave me a future. 
you gave me the gift of time to continue living and being able to see my young children grow up. And for that, you are a true hero, and I will be forever grateful. Thank you. You are very welcome. I was so happy to do it, really. Um, and and just even happier to, to hear that, you know, that you're doing better and you're feeling better. And how's your family? Oh, yeah, they're they're so happy to see mom moving around and playing with them and just seeing life in me because, you know, I, I was sick for almost a year and um, so I couldn't do a lot of things with them. My kids, I have a five-year-old and a ten-year-old and they started getting used to seeing my mom in bed and just always tired and fatigued and always in doctor's visits and now I have my life back. I could do things with them, I could play with them and <sighs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, Veronica, uh, any chance that your family members happen to be nearby? We'd love to meet them. Yeah, they're actually right here. Come Terrific. On. Come on, bring them on in. Okay, say hi. This is my hi daughter, there. Yanelli. Say hi. Adorable. Hi. Hello. This is my son, Daniel. Hi. Hi there. This is my wonderful husband, Miguel. Hi. Hi, Miguel. What a beautiful hi. family. Thank you. Nice to meet everyone, and hi, Jennifer. Hi, so nice to meet you guys. Same here. Uh, we are, I'd like to personally thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> what what you did we is it, just uh, unbelievable. It's amazing. Um, I'm sorry, got a little emotional. Uh, my wife means everything to me, to, to us to everybody and what you did is it, just amazing and i really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you for your, your kind-hearted your, your just you know the, your humanity to to help w when you can um i don't know what i've been what i would be without my wife and having her here now is just is just amazing so from the bottom of my heart thank you so much you are so welcome. A million times over, I would do it. I would do it tomorrow again if she needed it. Thank um, you. And no, I mean, this is like, I'm just so, so thankful to, to Gift of Life for um, for making this possible. It's like, technology's so crazy, right? Um, and, and, you know, to be on separate sides of the country um, and to be brought together in this way, it's just, I mean, it's like a miracle. I, I can't even put into words. Well, we can see that it's not just one person, just one recipient who benefits from what you do. It's a whole family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the impact is enormous. Well, I want to thank both of you. This is extraordinarily moving for all of us. I can imagine how moving it is for you. And we're really happy that you allowed us to share in this special moment in your lives. And this is what Gift of Life, Gift of Life is truly all about. It's heroic donors giving perfect strangers the most precious gift of all, health and hope. And I'm so proud that the partnership between Gift of Life and Birthright has led to so many beautiful matches like this one. And we look forward to celebrating many, many more in the future. And now I'm happy to turn it back to our host, Jared.